Good day everyone. I'm Donald Manlapas. I'm the chairperson of the Department of Physical Therapy at the College of Rehabilitation Sciences, University of Santo Tomas. And I'm here to share to you our experiences with regards to implementation of flexible teaching strategies and learning activities, physical therapy education in the time of COVID-19. So this is the structure of my discussion. Um, I'll start first with the introduction, particularly the capacity of the university to provide flexible learning and online classes. And then I'll describe the online environment, particularly um, the learning management system that we had. And then I'll discuss the different teaching learning strategies and evaluation we've conducted in a lecture class, in a PT laboratory class, and um, the experiences of our graduating students in their clinical internship and research activities. So the physical therapy program of um, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences in UST is the only one awarded with Center of Development um, in the Philippines by the Commission on Higher Education. And currently, we're level four PACOCOA accredited. So there's a lot of rolling of sleeves in the past months, particularly for the teachers, because they've conducted um, all their learning materials into an online material. So they are rushed and harassed at the same time. But on the other hand, there's also a change in the environment for the students or the learners from a typical classroom um, scenario into an online classes. So there's really a shift between um, or from face-to-face -to, -face to online classes. But the question in our profession is about the online classes. Can we, can we conduct online classes or physical therapy classes online? Um, because the profession is very heavy on skills, we're very on, uh, heavy on um, patient interaction, and there's a lot of demonstrations. But the next slides are the strategies we've conducted and the processes that we implemented. Luckily, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences in our institution provides us um, different platforms for our learning management systems. These are the portals for the, for the learners and for the teachers um, so that the learning environment will be more engaging and um, easy for all of us. So um, the example that we have here are provided like Guru's Patio, we're in... Um, Faculty members can check on their, perspective, uh, on their respective um, profile, as well as the students provided by a learning management system, which is called Blackboard or BB. This is the example of BB or our Blackboard, wherein the teachers and the learners can upload or download, download lectures. And at the same time, they have some um, discussions, um, interactive discussion online via our discussion board. And we can conduct um, assessment and evaluation in a more valid and secured um, environment. But before we implement those strategies, we had some preparations. First, we do health status tracking. Uh, during the start, we have we use just Google Form, but currently we use um, an online-based health tracker or an institution-based tracker in order to track, of course, not just our students, but also our faculty members. And the second step that we did is actually to revisit the learning outcomes and the curriculum map to assure that what we are doing reflects the intended learning outcomes that we set in the beginning of the semester or the term. And then we try to go back to the mode of delivery and mode of the distribution. Particularly, we ask the students, survey the students, if they're more comfortable with a self-paced instruction or a synchronous or a synchronous type of learning. So in the screen, you will see the summary of class expectations. So what we did is to, um, is to produce a matrix, particularly week per week, so that we can um, um, monitor the load of the teachers and the load of the students. And then we revise, of course, the rubrics and the grading system. This is to ensure that we do the evaluation fair for the students, but at the same time, um, um, not sacrificing the quality of the um, outcomes that we want to see and want to observe with our students. 
and then the last steps that the last step that we did is actually to collaborate with um, local and international organizations, particularly the professional organization here in the Philippines and the Chet Technical Panel for Physical Therapy. So just recently, the Commission on Higher Education Technical Committee for Physical Therapy Education provided us um, the guidebook of uh, best practices and um, recommendations. After a series of consultations with um, higher educational institutions, they inform us regarding the categories that, uh, that, can, that can be used as a strategy for our students. So category one will be no capacity and no connectivity. There, the students are um, rely on rely on um, printed and um, messages from the teachers. Category two will have limited capacity and weak connectivity, and the last category will be weak capacity and strong connectivity. So um, this is a typical scenario of the online PT lecture classes, wherein of course the teachers the teachers will provide. Um, um, lectures, online discussions, and gives um, formative and summative evaluation. Well, the learners accomplish those tasks, particularly maximizing the learning materials and at the same time um, participate in the um, evaluation conducted by the teachers. So in our um, scenario, we, this is a, a, synch this is, um, a synchronous um, online teaching wherein um, teachers conducted live lectures and as much as possible, we record them. And there's also a small group discussion and an interaction between um, a teacher and a learner or students wherein the teacher or the students can draw and describe by doing this, an in, the, by doing this interactive lecture as seen in the slide. All of this are recorded so that it will be available for everyone. For our synchronous um, online teaching, of course, we have the recorded video. It can be a recorded PowerPoint presentation with video and with audio. And as I mentioned you a while ago, there's a discussion board wherein if a student asks a question, the teachers can also provide an answer and this is seen by everyone. Um, during the first part of the um, quarantine, um, we have this um, email messages and um, text messages particularly for our medical doctors because they're our frontliners, but they also, also have some responsibilities in teaching. So they still communicate with the students and send some lectures and send some um, files or videos that will be useful for them. So for our assessment, we have, of course, a formative assessment. We've used other um, platforms such as Kahoot is an online quiz or Mentimeter when we can have survey if they don't understand to clarify things. And we had this joint play or quiz show wherein there's an environment of testing the students, but at the same time, it's fun. So we had this one um, using Zoom. For our summative, the more formal one, we use actually the online, qu online quizzes or online examination. So we try to monitor our students. So the this one, the clock, um, image or the clock um, um, picture is actually monitoring our uh, monitoring monitoring our students with regards to their progress of their examination. But of course, we want to have a quality and um, um, valid assessment of our students. So we still conducted the validation of the exam, and Blackboard has this test analysis wherein we can discriminate questions as good, fair, poor, easy, or hard. And um, our students actually um, gave us assignments, essays, for example, or written, um, written um, report by using safe, sign, safe assign checker and plagiarism checking so that we, st we still um, check on the integrity and honesty of the students. And we have the Respondus Lockdown browser, wherein if they are having an exam, they cannot open a browser or Google um, or any search engine. So they cannot Google the answer. So it's locked, actually. So what are our recommendations? So recommendation will, um, hopefully, we can have the team teaching strategies so that we can pair one faculty to another faculty who are more expert in an online activities. So it's a shared um, task for both of the teachers. Um, hopefully, all the learning materials will be readily available both online and in print. And of course, maximize other strategies or offline strategies available 
both for the teachers and also for the learners. For the learners, we want them to establish clear and reliable communication with the, with the teachers. And of course, participate in both synchronous and asynchronous so that they can practice self-directed learning. And also, we want to advise them or suggest to have some peer and classmate support and of course, sharing of the resources. For PT laboratory classes, um, it's almost similar with the um, lecture classes, but this is heavy more heavy or rather heavy on presentation, heavy on giving feedback and interaction because um, our profession is more on skills and demonstration. So we prepare a lot of um, video presentations and demonstration for the page for our students. So this is an example of a scenario of online classes. So there's some demonstration using YouTube and some visualization in our anatomy class. For cartilages. It's inserted on the pubic crest. For PT laboratory assessment, we had the supervised um, online aerobic classes. So we instructed them um, to do an online or virtual um, aerobic class wherein we assessed how they give instructions how they provide the exercises to their classmates as their clients. And then we have case-based examination wherein they create a stories, um, real um, case scenario for our, for our students. Lastly, for our interns, um, we provided alternative learning activities for our interns. So the first step that we did is actually to collaborate with the clinical affiliation centers. If the institution or the centers cannot provide alternative learning activities for our interns, then we provide this kind of alternative learnings. So what we did is actually to match the clinical setup, the activities in the clinic, and then um, we provide an alternative learning activities that will match that specific um, um, task. For example, if they're doing journal reporting, we're doing research synthesis. If they're doing clinical portfolio in the clinics, what we, do, what we did is actually to ask the students to give us some reflections. So this is an example of um, their output. So they have a real patient and we, what we do is to timeline the history of present illness just like in the clinic. And what is interesting um, about what we did with our interns is um, we try to um, squeeze their um, creativeness, um, particularly by giving an infographic that these infographics were actually unco uh, converted into Filipino, like a brochure for Bell's palsy for a specific um, condition, or an exercise pamphlet wherein there's a Tagalog version of the different steps on how to do um, exercise, um, more preventive approach. And this is very use useful later on for um, community-based rehabilitation. So this is very useful for the community um, as part of their um, home exercise program. We also had some um, online research activities and presentations. So here's a student presenting their poster in a more interactive way. Patient and athletes with and without chronic ankle sprain. So we did the study to contribute in formulating a more comprehensive... So that's an example. And this is our suggestions for laboratory and internship. So I think we need to recalibrate the strategies and focus on the skills acquisition through simulation. So if the lecturer will focus on um, content, laboratory and internship should focus on skills acquisition by having these videos and demonstrations. And then focus more on um, um, soft skills since we don't have any um, hands-on first because of the quarantine. Um, maybe we can focus on communications like for example, verbal and written communication. We can assess our students, our interns, on how to give instructions, on how to write proper clinical um, documentation. And of course, um, provide more infographics, materials, and video infomercial that can be utilized later on by the community. So I'll end this one with the quote that I just simply published or a line as I, that I published. So let us figure out a way where technology will work with us and for us. Let's um, search for um, some strategies that will provide um, more flexible learning for our learners. Thank you very much.